Hello guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. Um, today I have lots of um, jobs to be getting on with actually, lots of bits and bobs. So I need to get myself ready, it's not too late in the day luckily, well it's half nine. <laughs> um, so I just want to get myself kind of dolled up a little bit and I haven't done my makeup with you in a little minute and I have some new products to show you. So I'm not gonna do like a full face routine. I just have some products to show you that I thought were really quite interesting to show you and to do a bit of a review of. A little bit of serum on. This is the serum from Clay de Poe. Just for clarity, this is a paid for advertorial with Clay de Poe because I wanna show you their brand new reformulated best-selling foundation, the Radiant Cream Foundation. SPF 25. I'll be honest, I've never actually tried the original of this, um, but I know it's one of their best selling products. It's been like a huge favorite amongst so many. And they've just reformulated this with 24 hour long wear and 24 hour hydration. So let's give this a whirl together. I've used this a number of times now. I've tried a couple of different shades and I think this one's gonna be the best for me. This is 020 Light Medium Ochre. I have been absolutely loving this foundation, so I'm very excited to show you this one. I am using the High Coverage Foundation Brush as well here, which is wonderful, and just really packs on this for, for a higher coverage finish. So, right, let's have a look together. I'm gonna to zoom in a little bit, just so you can really see. So like I said, this is High Coverage, buildable, and it's meant for a radiant, dewy, and hydrated finish on the skin. 24 hour long wear, like I said. 24 hours of hydration. I mean, just straight away, look at that. Incredible finish there, straight away. Coverage is just beautiful. But look how glowy and dewy my skin looks like. This is my kind of foundation. Like, I really don't love the more mattifying foundations out there. So just to show you again, so this is my skin, and then... I also don't usually go high coverage, as you guys know, but there are certain events and times where I love a high coverage, um, and if I need that long wear, then I'll go for it. But equally, what I've found with this is that it doesn't cake up, and it doesn't look like you're wearing a really high coverage foundation. It just perfects and makes everything so flawless. It's kind of taking away my redness and my pinkness and my cheeks, leveling everything out. Like, this is such a great shade for me. It's just so beautifully hydrating and glowy. Like, look at that, gl that radiant glow. Hmm. Must admit, I also highly recommend this brush. I think this brush applies it beautifully. Oh gosh, I mean, look at that beautiful glow. I'm really, I am so impressed with this, guys. Honestly, when Clay de Poe asked me to work on this foundation to show you guys my thoughts on it and my review on it and to try it on camera. I've tried a number of Clay de Poe foundations before and loved them. They're big favourites in my collection, so I was really excited to try this. And as soon as I realised how amazing it was, I was like, yes, we can work on this foundation. I think it's just heavenly. Also comes in 31 shades as well like the amount of luminosity that's added to the skin i mean you can just see it on the camera it's stunning what i'm going to do is add a little bit of the clay de poe concealer it's better just remove a little bit of that blueness under my under eyes that's still coming out i'm really tired at the moment i don't know what's wrong with me i'm just feeling very very tired and this this video is about the foundation but just as a bit of a, a triple whammy we also have this beautiful product this is the translucent loose powder in light medium number two this is so pretty. Take off this big lid, and then you've got the powder puff. Sorry, I've been using this. <laughs> this side is just a mesh finish, and I'm just gonna pat, and then just pat this under my under eyes, really, just to set that down. I'm not gonna go anywhere near to my cheeks, because I feel I've got such a beautiful finish. How perfect, as well as this. <laughs> this powder really does pack it beautifully. Also, whilst we're talking about Clay de Poe, this is actually completely unrelated, but I actually was trying out this lip product yesterday too. Let me show you this. Um, this isn't for the video, sorry, but I just want to really show you this. I have to put on a lip liner before I show you a lip product or else you won't see the full effect. Um, so this is, this is the Clay de Poe 
um, Refined Lip Luminizer in Perfect Peach. Look how pretty this is when this goes on. It just adds a really light layer, like a luminous layer of colour. It's really comfortable and it's not super shiny, but it does have a shine and it just makes my lips look so pretty. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. Literally, I tried that yesterday and was like, wow, well, that's nice. So yeah, that is my skin now prepped. Uh, by the way, this um, camera doesn't have any skin softeners on it. It's not got any effects on it, no filters. I took that off weeks ago because it was driving me a bit mad. So yeah, this is fully my skin and the finish of that unbelievable foundation. Honestly, don't you think that's gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, if you're a big Clay de Peau fan or you're looking for a super luxury foundation to try out, honestly have a peek at this. I mean, you may already be a big fan. This is like a best, best seller for uh, Clay de Peau, so you might already be a huge fan, but the reformulated version is unbelievable. That's all I can say. I'm gonna quickly just finish off the rest of my face and I'll come back to you. Ready for the day, a very kind of natural, just a very simple liner and peachy lip look, a little tiny bit of bronze. But um, but my skin looks unreal. Like how amazing! I'm trying to like get into the light so you can really see. Okay, Bo is so bored. <laughs> Bo is like, come on. Right. Are we ready to start the day together? Huh? Should we go play for a little minute? We should go play for a little minute. <laughs> oh, by the way, I will leave the link down below for the Clay de Peau foundation if you do want to try this wonderfulness out. Okay, okay. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Hi guys. Lots has been going on. The garden is 98% finished. What have you found? Is he a ball? He's ball, it's always under the couch. Do you do it on purpose? Should we try and get it out the door? Whee! Oh, that was real bad. Oh gosh, sorry darling. Yeah, the garden is looking unbelievable. Today is a roasting hot day. It's 30 degrees outside, which is strange for England. The build is happening, doing a load of clear up, getting everything off uh, the drive, because it's been a state. Doing some last minute things, such as the festoons have gone up, my festoon lights. Yeah, me and Alex have also just been helping clear out the garage, because the garage, you've not been able to get into it for the past eight weeks, it's been so full. So it's all kind of feeling really real today, <laughs> super exciting. I've been doing a little bit of work this morning, I've been on emails, doing my emails for a little while, but we want to go to the garden centre to pick up a planter for the garden. There's a particular planter that I love. Josie and Charlie have this planter and I remember seeing it at their house and being like, where did you get this planter from? Um, and they told me Nicholson's. So we're gonna go and have a look for this planter as well as buying a few little plants. I'm not gonna be doing the whole garden yet because I have um, uh, my friend Pippa Snowden, and she's gonna be doing all the gardening work. But I just thought one or two little ones that I can keep in small pots here and there, maybe I can get away with. I just wanna feel like I've got a bit of plants in the garden. So we're gonna go and have a little look. So it's three o'clock now. We're gonna have a little drive over there with the dog. Have a little uh, hour there and then come on back home. And then I've got some more work to do then. But I thought I'd bring you along for a little trip to the garden centre. So we're just at Nicholson's having a little peek around the trees and hedges. Oh, these are great, babe. These are really great. It's literally like a full screen, isn't it? Yeah. Like, talk about privacy. Wow. And how much are we talking for this? 775. You'd need. You'd probably need like three, three in a row. Maybe, I mean, how amazing is that though? That's really great. Well, in the end, yeah, that is that is really nice too, actually. These ones. The well, these ones? Yeah, Do they? Oh, cool. Prunus, pleach, oh, pleach. Yeah, these are the pleach trees. What? This is what we were thinking of getting. Oh, really? Pleach trees, yeah, so they're on two meter stems. Yeah, these are four, 475. We could get like three in a row, potentially. They'd be great. I mean, we could get them in a couple of different places though to create even more privacy. It's really nice enough to see everything and learn what everything is. Wow, there is a lot of them here. Good Carpinus yeah, Vitulus, 450. Yeah, this one's great here, babe. That's 450 for that one. That would work really well, wouldn't it? This is such a great screen. I mean, this is nice too because it lets a bit of light through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are really nice. Malus Turingo high screen stem. Yeah, they're great. Oh, wow, what is this tree? 
That's great. I love that. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? That is quite nice. I mean, this this is lovely though. I mean, that's so nice. Yeah, that'd be great. It's more of a. Yeah, I mean, yeah, getting around it's not going to be easy. Either. It's quite big. It's quite big. However, we have found our planter. The planter we wanted. We managed to get it into the car, thankfully, because it is huge. It's like it's kind of like this one here, but bigger, like twice the size. Yeah, this is, isn't this a bay? Maybe like a bay tree, potentially. Oh yeah, I like the feel of this <laughs> Well, we had a fantastic trip to the garden centre. We did only buy the planter because there was nothing else that I really, really wanted, but it was still a nice little trip out in, the, in this absolutely beautiful weather. So it was nice to kind of get out either way. I'm trying to tell myself it wasn't a wasted journey. Guys, I've forgotten, I haven't shown you my finished closet. I've had some changes in here. I am gonna do like a full tour because I think it'd be quite nice, but I'm up here because I wanna tell you some really exciting news in a bit more detail. But before that, I thought I would quickly show you my dressing room glow up. Da -da 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 -da. I've got the light on because it's a little bit of low light right now. This is my updated closet. This is probably the best way to show you my brand new worktops in this Arabescato porcelain. So it's made to look like Arabescato marble. This is actually porcelain, which means that it's a lot more robust. It won't be porous. And so when it comes to my desk, I'm not gonna get foundation on it. Um, and it's not like the foundation won't sink into this and stain the actual tops. So it is absolutely divine. It is just beautiful offset so beautifully by this absolutely incredible mirror like this now is such a perfect scene for me like I have my dice now sorry that's my corral is in another room stupidly but um then I've got my my makeup brushes and my uh, Dr. Frange um this one is in the scent Patalia de Rose which I just adore it smells absolutely heavenly um and then I have my R. McMartin mirror here then of course I have my new R. Mac Martin handles. I've changed all the handles, as I've mentioned before. They are all now done, which look just beautiful against the tones in here. So swinging around here, all the handles are done. I keep all of my Edge of Ember jewellery in here so I can see it, because I wear it most days. So I just need to sort that out from my trip. Um, and I'm kind of overflowing here with brand new perfumes i have so many perfumes but these are the ones i keep out because i'm using them all the time it's just the most beautiful porcelain all the way around this was done by a company that did our kitchen called chandler stoneworks those guys are awesome they've even put in this little upstand as well around the very back just to make it look a little bit more neat against the wall which i love I could not be happier. I think it just looks so much more inviting. I think it just looks so much more luxurious in here. Also just added some artwork right and left of the window as well. A little more interest on the walls. And as you've seen, I've got my new lights in here. The last thing I need to do, I just need to paint around here and I keep putting it off and I keep seeing it in all my reels. There's just a little band of broken plaster and it's really driving me mad. Still haven't found time to do it though. So let me know guys, what you think of the new worktops? Aren't they gorgeous? It just adds a little bit different color, more texture. This area here, I just love. With my Dior books and my Hermes and the gold handles against this beautiful, beautiful porcelain, this Arabescato, it's just divine. I love it. Um, I keep my little Bulgaris on here. It's nicer. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's perfect. I love it so much. That is the new dressing room vibe. Let me know what you think. However, let me sit down and just quickly talk to you again about my really exciting news, like everything that's happening right now. If you guys haven't watched recent vlogs, I have my second collection with Holland Cooper coming out next month. So it's coming out in October. This is going to be, again, a range of clothes that are extremely me, <laughs> are literally the perfect autumn winter pieces. I've already shared a few illustrations on my stories and I got so many messages. So many people seemed extremely excited about it. The pieces are absolutely divine. Um, they fit like a dream. I've had samples, we've had feedback between the teams and 
the collection. I'm not sure if I love this collection even more than season one. So this will be our autumn winter collection. There are going to be six unique pieces in this range. Technically there's seven pieces but one piece is already technically available that will go with something I've created. Again, just for kind of clarity of everything, this is a collaborative project between myself and Jade and Holland Cooper as a team. It's utilising a lot of the current silhouettes of Holland Cooper. I got to choose the fabrics, any additional materials and fabrics that we utilise on top of that, any of the additional features. I got to choose what silhouettes I wanted to create. So this is very much my collection, but at the same time you can expect exactly what you always can expect from Holland Cooper in terms of their quality, their fits, their silhouettes, their incredible manufacturing, their postage, all of that. So this is just extremely exciting for me. The first collection was an enormous, enormous success. And so I cannot wait for this collection. And honestly, I'd love to be wearing it right now, but it's currently 30 degrees today. And the collection is very much an autumn winter collection. In the UK, it's raining tomorrow, and then the seasons in the UK definitely start to change mid-September. So from mid-September onwards, we're gonna start getting the colder, slightly more breezy weather into colder weather. So, so it's gonna be the perfect time actually for this collection launching, which is going to be mid-October. But let me show you a couple of pieces. This piece right here might be one of my favorites. This is just my dream jacket, and I've had so many people message me about this jacket. The colours are absolutely beautiful, they're classic, sophisticated, they're so elegant, they're extremely wearable. It's the most beautiful green mixed with navy. Um, it's just a fantastic tailored blazer. I mean, you could, you could wear this with so, so much in your own closet, whether that's your favourite white t-shirt, whether it's a black bodysuit or a black vest. It could even just be a, a bra and then you wear the trousers because this season we are doing trousers and we're doing shorts which is extremely exciting so but what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is a couple of months ago now i got the whole collection sent to me so i could sample it and i could check the sizes the final sizes i kind of want to show you that i want to because i recorded that moment and i want to show you that because that was my initial first reaction that was my real authentic in the moment reaction and i feel it'd be nice for you to see that and I try on all of the pieces for you because at the same time I was trying them on for um, my whole team and I was sending WhatsApps. So I think it'll be nicer for you to see that. So I'll insert that now. So today I've just received my first set of samples for my second Holland Cooper in the throw collection. Um, I told you guys this was coming. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is, this is mega exciting. I've just received all of the different pieces and the samples just so I can try them, see which we love the most. So this is just a really, really exciting day. I'm literally just trying on the trousers. If you guys remember, I spoke about whether we, I asked you guys ages ago whether you loved this green tartan fabric or whether you preferred this beautiful red with blue and, le and yellow going through it. So this will give us a much better idea of what we like the most. So here I've just put on the green trousers that match. I'm wearing, I just happen to be wearing this actually, in my black Holland Cooper bodysuit. And then we have the green blazer over the top. Oh my lord, that is so flipping classy. Look at that. Oh my goodness, let me get some shoes. Of heels, just to get some shape and height. This length is amazing on the trousers. Cuts off perfectly, I love the like cropped, tailored ankle. Not even done it my fly. <laughs> The way that they make these, like the quality is unbelievable. Genuinely, like the best quality garments. The wool is unreal. That shape, so again, so the team have made me the blazer in an eight, just because I really like the Holland Cooper blazers one size up from my usual, for a little bit more shape and structure. So I'm currently wearing the eight here. Oh, it's, a, it's perfect. I don't think I need to make any amends to it. It is literally, the way I expect it to look. 
my goodness, I love it. I absolutely love it. And what's so amazing about these trousers is look how high waisted they are. Super high waisted. They've got the belt loops. If you want to stick a big belt on here with them, and they've got pockets. It's so beautiful fitted around the bum. Again, lovely and high waist up here. It is an absolutely amazing fit. And then just with the blazer over the top, this is un like unbelievable. Absolutely unreal. Gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, then we have the shorts. In case you don't want anything too long, or maybe you just want to wear like a bodysuit like this and a blazer over the top. To have a slightly different two-piece but I mean again the, oh my gosh that looks amazing the length of the blazer almost just skims the shorts oh my goodness I absolutely love this like for a night out like that oh my gosh you could just wear a bralette with this as well because it's so high waist it covers the majority of your midriff I almost don't know whether I love the shorts more than I love the than the blazer oh, but just imagine like a gorgeous night out or date night in this with a little bag some heels because it's just skims really close to the shorts so it just gives you that little bit of extra protection and safety and they're perfect again just really fitted this is like a first look for me too so that's why I'm just constantly like looking in the camera and seeing what the fit's like and the shape and how flattering. It looks amazing. They look amazing. Like they cut a really good part on my leg as well. It's really flattering. This is what I want to start wearing for like going to meetings. You know, a little bit of leg but not too much. And then obviously for like winter months you could wear tights with this or you could just wear over knee boots and it would look killer. Like absolutely unbelievable. Okay, moving on to red. So when we did the poll of green versus red, it was it's so extremely split. It was almost 50-50. The green just won out, I would say overall. I also got a lot of DMs, people asking for the green. So I got a feeling the green was, was loved the most. However, a lot of you really wanted the red. So this is the red check. So it's a it's a gorgeous red with it's got the same kind of green and blue as the other one, but every now and again it's got this yellow. Going through it, this just feels very autumnally. Wow, it's beautiful. Let me put my heels on again. Gosh, this is just so exciting. When samples turn up, it's like, oh my god! Like the things you've been talking about for so long actually turn up in tryonable form. So this is the red. Wow, I mean it's such a kind of mature, like more wearable red first of all. Um, sometimes red can be quite difficult to wear but this with it mixing in with the blues and the greens it just makes it far more wearable. Again I'm just obsessed now with this blazer with the matching shorts looks so great so great just takes this from like day to night as well if you wanted to throw some heels on with it um equally i mean if i if i worked in office this is what i'd want to wear this is so like sexy but demure but sophisticated all at the same time what do you guys think you could also just wear the blazer or a pair of like faux leather trousers even just jeans black jeans deep indigo jeans would be perfect with this or even just a light pair of denim, or white, in fact. I mean, anything, it would go with all of those. Okay, trying on the check trousers in a Logan print. So depending on whether you love the green or the red, there is a matching bottom for that. Because we, we weren't gonna do such a massive collection. I was worrying we were gonna have to strip it back and only do one of each. This is absolutely gorgeous as a full set again. So, so classy, perfect. For an autumn winter vibe blazer is just incredible again the quality is just phenomenal fits perfectly i love the way it's lined i love the, the, the lapel shape the fit it's all just <laughs> dreamy the next piece of the collection the houndstooth chelsea dress again when we were talking about we were talking about this 
back at the start of the year is like the autumnal piece. Full hands, I mean how classy, so classy. And then we've added some little bits of leather to here. So these two sections here are also in leather. Epaulettes, just here in leather as well. That little tiny bit of detailing on there. It's just the classic Chelsea dress shape that I love. I have, I always have mine in the extra small in the Chelsea dress. To me, it just feels fantastic for autumn, winter. You could put like a black roll neck underneath this. Like I said with the other two that we brought out, a black roll neck underneath this with some black tights and some like black ankle boots or just black roll neck and black over knee boots with this. So killer. What an, what a look. Yeah, that shape is absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, one of the one of the last pieces to show you is the piece I think I've been most excited about. I don't know why, but when we spoke about this, um, I don't know if it was Jade or I, I have a feeling it was me that was like, can we do this print in this shape? Because it's my favourite thing and I'm sure the team were like, oh my god, we haven't ever done anything like that, let's do it. So, we are doing the anniversary pink maxi trench coat <sighs> oh my goodness you guys know how much i wear the holland cooper trenches like maxi trenches i did not take them off last year the year before that and potentially even the year before that i'm trying to think when i first got my first one but the shape of these is unbelievable they are the classiest coats for autumn winter that you'll ever find so we've done the full length in the anniversary pink we even have the same as the way the blazers were for spring summer we have the incredible check underneath <laughs> the collar but, i mean look i mean just look at the shape oh, wow this genuinely is the coat of dreams i think me and jade will likely just wear this now for the rest of our autumn winter but I mean, so you can button it down. So it buttons down to around here and you've still got this wonderful kind of slit here which just keeps you so warm all the way down. And then it comes with the belt. So that's how you just cinch this and add that super flattering silhouette into your waistline. Gosh, this fabric, I just love this fabric so much. And then you've got the beautiful big lapels and the way that the collar sits so rigidly and structured. It's such a stunning silhouette around the front here. Equally, if it's a freezing cold day, you can just obviously wrap this completely. It even has the full like military clip right up here so you can clip these together to keep it really lovely and snug for you. Um, yeah, so it just pulls in. You are not going to be warmer in winter than with this coat. Unless obviously if you're in like the depths of Canada, but look at that. This is even more magical than I expected when we were in the meetings and I was like, can we do the anniversary pink in a maxi trench, please? And this is, oh, it's perfect. What do you guys think? Is this not just heavenly? Now imagine if you bought the blazer from the previous collection, or if you even bought the Chelsea dress, this over top, divine absolutely divine i am absolutely in love okay guys so that's it that is the autumnal collection coming soon let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about old pieces in terms of things that you might ask me uh what, what might that be i mean the price points you know the price points now they will be reflective of the previous collection so there won't be really any any surprises there. The collection, I think we're going to be doing them in the same sizes as the first collection. Yeah, and again, we don't have huge amounts of stock. So yeah, if you want to buy your favourite uh, your favorite size and shape, then definitely kind of go ahead pretty straight away. I will um, leave you a down below, there will be a link which will take you to a sign up page, a waiting list page where you can put in your size that you would be wanting to get as well as your email. And we get an idea of how many people want certain sizes. It helped a lot last time actually because we were able to order more of a certain size, which meant that more people could get exactly what they wanted to. Just make sure as well that you look at the size guides in terms of all the blazers and the trousers and the way that they fit. For instance, like the trousers definitely have less given them than the blazer. 
So for example, if you are between sizes, I would definitely maybe go a size up because the wool is so structured, you won't get any elastication really. So if you are more, more of an eight than a six, I would definitely go for the eight. Just to give you a bit more room in there. You can always belt it if you need to, if you want to cinch it down a bit more. But just so you know, like the sixes then on me were tight, they were fitted, like really fitted. And I'm like a kind of a true size six. So just bear that in mind. If you're between sizes, I would go upwards if you're going for the bottoms. When it comes to the blazers, if you want it uber fitted, go for your usual size. If you want it a little bit more, tiny bit more roomy, go a size up. That's what I definitely say. And then for the trench, I mean the trench fit almost, it fits perfectly to your size because it's meant to fit a bit more structured anyway. So again, the six then fit me a bit more like the eight blazer would, but it just fit like perfectly. So again, I would probably say stay to your true size for the coat. <sighs> yeah, let me know guys what you think of everything, what you love the most. This is very, very exciting. I just realized I calculated wrong earlier. It is seven pieces. So it's one, two, three, red, four, five, six seven sorry seven pieces <laughs> silly me but there are also a pair of red shorts already available online as part of an existing collection so if you did want to also buy the red shorts to go with the red blazer they're already there so that is amazing then we have the black houndstooth chelsea dress which again is just the most wearable piece i just absolutely love it as soon as we got talking about autumn winter i said we definitely need a dress. I feel like the Chelsea dress was so loved from the last collection and that shape, I just adore that shape. So I said, can we do it again, but in a more kind of autumn winter fabric? I was sent a whole book of fabric swatches and I was like, let's do a houndstooth because I adore a houndstooth print. It's so classic, it never goes out of fashion. It's extremely traditional and it just suits so many people. So we did the houndstooth. So that is the seven piece collection guys. It launches really soon. I'm gonna be giving you loads more info as it comes up. We're just currently kind of in the process of everything being manufactured and made and sorting out labels and tags and the kind of marketing plan, strategy and everything else. Next week, I'm going along to Cheltenham again. Honestly, me and my team just love every minute of going to Cheltenham. Bo loves it, I mean, me and Alex have the best time, and yeah. I adore the Holland Cooper team so much, they feel like an extended team to us. So anytime we can go to Cheltenham, we can stay at 131, um, Jade's Hotel 131. We just have the most fantastic time, so can't wait for that. That is on Monday, and then we're gonna be doing the photo shoot for the whole collection. For now, I just wanted to tell you all about it and just show you how divine everything is. Um, just, just to say like how grateful I am and so thankful for opportunities like this. You guys saw how hard I was working to try to create my own fashion brand last year and the year before that and the years before that. So when this opportunity arose with Holland Cooper and Jade, who is just so inspiring to me, it felt like the most perfect fit and just ideal for me and what I wanted to create, to work with a brand that is so high quality, with such a vision, and a brand that I love so much. It's, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say dream come true because I say it so much, but that is exactly what it is. It is I just can't feel more gratitude for it. And to you guys for being here and supporting me this whole time, to give me these opportunities, to allow these opportunities to arise for me, I just can't extend my thanks to you guys enough. Getting a bit emotional, so I'm gonna stop, <laughs> but, Thank you to all of you watching and to the Holland Cooper team. And I hope you guys are excited. Please let me know down below. I would love it if you just stop the video now, went down below to comment and let me know. And is there anything in the collection that you would love? Is there anything that's caught your eye? Um, what color would you love? Which piece? I would just love to get a really great idea from all of you. If you're not potentially thinking of buying, I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts, like which piece you love the most or, what you think I should maybe create for maybe next season if we do another collection or whatever but it would just be great just to get your feedback from all of you so yeah take a second to pause the video go and leave me some feedback leave me your thoughts 